right, so Muskegon Catholic Central looking to improve to 12-11 and 11 on the season, taking on the Fowler Eagles. They come in with a record of 13-8. and 8. Of course, Fowler upending Fulton Middleton in the district championship game and kind of an upset win for Fowler in that game. So the Crusaders are catching a team that's hot because that was a 12-point win for Fowler in that district championship game. So it wasn't just a fluky into the game three-pointer or anything like that. You're right. That was a, a very impressive win. And, uh, you know, this is a uh, a senior-oriented team from Fowler that uh, they don't want to see their season end, and they don't want to see it end the way it did in football, which was right at the hands of these same Crusaders. So they're going to be very motivated tonight, and MCC is going to have to match it. If the Crusaders and Eagles can put on a basketball game equal to the football game, you're in for a treat right now because that was probably MCC's best playoff game of the season as far as football goes, even though they got upended by Harbor Springs a couple games later on in the playoffs. That was a, it was a fun, I believe it was 14-13 to 13 if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct, Tom? For the, uh, for the football game between these two uh, scores? 14 to nothing. 14 to nothing. That's what I said. 14 yeah. to nothing. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's what I said. Great defensive two effort zero. by the Crusaders. 2 to 0. So the Crusaders and the Eagles getting ready and starting introductions are taking place. And so I'm going to turn it over to Tom Kender right now for tonight's starting lineups. Well, we'll start off with the Fowler Eagles. Uh, not a great amount of height on, on their team, a very average size team. Um, in the backcourt, we have uh, senior Trent George and uh, sophomore Austin Cook. Uh, the, the forwards are Kevin Keneshek and Joseph Smith, and the center is a 6'2 senior Jacob Schmidt. Uh, for MCC, we see the uh, same starting lineup they've been using for the, for the past uh, two games. Um, we have in the backcourt, junior Adam Callow and senior John Daniel. The forwards are uh, Lamar Jordan and Kari Campbell, and uh, the center is Brant McCollum. So three seniors, a junior and a sophomore starting for Fowler, four seniors and a sophomore for the Crusaders, and here we go, MCC wearing their green, going right to left to start this first quarter of play, and Kari Campbell wins the opening tip. Here comes Adam Callow with the ball for the Crusaders. Off on the right wing, it's John Daniel. Quickly down low to Kari Campbell, off the glass. Easy two, and the Crusaders jump up two to nothing early on. Exactly the way Lamar Jordan wanted this game to start. Established Kari Campbell inside right off the bat. Sophomore Austin Cook brings it up, hands it off to George on the left wing. Ball is knocked away momentarily by MCC, and John Daniel's going to come away with it up to Lamar Jordan. Jordan tried to drop it back. Nobody home. Ball's going to go out of bounds. Off MCC, no, check that. Off Fowler, it'll be MCC ball up 2 0, 725 to go here in the first quarter. Jordan to inbound for the Crusaders from under the basket, finds John Daniel. He's going to launch a three ball. That's a little bit long. Brent McCollum with a rebound for the Crusaders. Back to Adam Callow. Callow up top. Back. Find it, finds Daniel, gets it right back. Adam Callow hits a triple, and the Crusaders up five to nothing in the first 50 seconds of play here in Granville. Adam Callow, the junior, he's a uh, like a microwave kind of player. If he gets hot, watch out. Hook on the right wing for Keneshek. Keneshek's going to get fouled as he goes down on the court. They're going to get Adam Callow with a foul for the Crusaders. 6:57 to go here in the first quarter of play. And the Crusaders would like to keep Callow on the court if they can. Austin Cook for the Fowler Eagles. Hands it off for George. George dribbles to his left-hand side, drops it for Keneshek. Keneshek across the three-point line, drops it. Three ball from Cook. That's off the front of the rim. Brent McCollum with a rebound for the Crusaders. Callow, a long pass down for Daniel. Drops it back for McCollum, trailing on the play. As he faked, he took an extra step. It'll be a turnover on the Crusaders. They're up 5 0, 6 to go here in the first quarter. You know, the Crusaders coming out playing some zone defense, trying to uh, see if Fowler can uh, shoot their way, shoot them out of the zone. Up top, Keneshek's got it for the Fowler Eagles. It's a screen from Smith working to the right hand side. Now brings it back to the left, hands it off to Cook. The sophomore guard working up top, hands it off. Smith thought about a shot, instead hands it off to Keneshek, comes driving in the lane, drops that one off. Schmidt missed a bunny, 
Rebound bounces around. It's going to go out of bounds off MCC. Fowler ball with 6.03 left to go here in the first quarter. MCC looking much more aggressive early on than they did against Providence Christian. Kari Campbell looks engaged, and so does Grant McCollum inside, so that's a good sign. Burr checks in for Fowler. Cook with it to the elbow, launches, and hits the jump shot. 5-2, to two. MCC's lead is 3. They have the ball with 5.50 to go here in the first quarter of this Class D District Regional semifinal game at Granville High School. In the paint, Kari Campbell drives into the lane, knocks a man over. They're going to get Kari for the offensive foul as Smith took the charge for the Eagles. Yeah, nice position there by uh, Smith for Fowler. I don't think Lamar Jordan will be too upset with that foul. A good aggressive take by Kari. Crusaders trying to set up a half-court trap. Fowler will pass over top of it, finding Keneshek. They'll swing it back around for Cook. Now in the right corner, Burr's got it. Hands it off for Cook. Ten-footer from Cook is short. Lamar Jordan the third with the rebound. Adam Calla will bring it up for the Crusaders. 5.15 to go here in the first quarter. MCC up 5-2 to two on Fowler. Calo drives into the lane on the left side, pulls up, missed the jumper short, and Calo sneaks in there to take the rebound away. They're going to get Carly Campbell on a reckless foul. That'll be his second foul on that rebound, and he's going to have to sit out possibly the rest of the first half. Ian Tyler will have to check in for Kari Campbell with 5.04 to go here in the first quarter of play. That's going to hurt MCC. That is not a good thing. That's a, not a smart foul there by Kari Campbell. Fowler breaks a trap from MCC. Free in the left corner is Keneshek. He'll drive all the way to the top of the key. Finds a man wide open in the right corner. That's George, his three ball off the mark. Rebound to John Daniel. And Calla will bring it up for the Crusaders. Got it over. He's trying to get it over for McCollum. Pass was knocked away. Lamar Jordan the third digs it out for the Crusaders. And they will reset up top. John Daniel on the right side. And McCollum took an extra step before he dribbled again. Another turnover on MCC. They still lead 5-2 to two with 4.26 to go here in the first quarter of play. You know, Grant McCollum is a little too amped up here. Interesting offensively. Adam Callow is running the point. They got John Daniel. Try to set him up as the shooting guard. Ball is stolen by Ian Tyler reaching through as Cook was trying to drop that one off. Good play defensively by Tyler. And it'll be MCC ball. Callow slows things down for the Crusaders. Up on the right side, Lamar Jordan the third takes one step, gets a screen, launches a three ball. It's an air ball. Callow was trying to get into there to save it, but could not get around Keneshek. Ball will go out of bounds off MCC. Anderson will check in for Jordan with 3.55 to go here in the first quarter. And I think it's safe to say Lamar Jordan's dad did not like that shot. No, and like you mentioned before, he always gets a little bit more of an earful than anyone else from his, from his dad. But, you know, Matt, this Fowler team, they look like a bunch of football players, don't they? It's a physical game already. 3.48 to go here in the first quarter. Fowler brings it up. Birchmeyer on the right wing, working against Jesse Anderson. Works it down low to Burr. Burr turns, fires with his right hand, missed it. Ian Tyler way up for the rebound for the Crusaders. Ian Tyler is going to be relied on pretty heavily here with Kari Campbell in foul trouble. Caleb brings it up, finds Daniel. McCollum slicing through the lane, off the glass, and it's good for two. Brent McCollum puts the Crusaders up 7-2, to their first bucket in almost four minutes. Brent McCollum is everywhere tonight. Eagles bring it up. Keneshek on the right wing, working against Adam Callo. Sends it back up top. Burr thought about it. Instead, they'll swing it all the way around to the left corner. George is there. He's going to launch a three, and he will hit it. 7-5. to five. MCC's lead down to two. Referees stop play as the net got caught on the rim. And now it'll be Crusader ball. Adam Callo will bring it up. Just under three minutes to go here in the first quarter of play. Trent George, the 5'10 senior for Fowler. He's their main uh, three-point marksman. He's the guy we need to get a hand in his face. 
In the left corner, Anderson up for Daniel, over for Callow, back for Daniel. Slicing into the lane, Daniel. Floater through the lane over top of the trees is good. That'll make it 9-5, to five. MCC, two and a half to go here in the first. Trent George now working point guard duties for the Fowler Eagles. Crossover, has the ball knocked away from him, but it goes right to Smith. He goes up, has it blocked out of bounds, and it'll be Eagle ball on the baseline with 2.20 to go here in the first quarter. Eric Van Fossum will check in for MCC, giving Jesse Anderson a breather. Fowler looking to inbound it. Kahlo almost got it, but Keneshek bodies him out of the way. Dribbles into the lane, kicks it off in the right corner. George, another three, missed that one. Ian Tyler with another rebound for the Crusaders. MCC will bring it up with 2.05 to go here in the first quarter, leading 9-5. to Van Fossum on the left wing, looking down low, finds Adam Kahlo. Kahlo takes it strong to the hoop, missed it just a little bit hard on the shot. Keneshek with a rebound, here come the Eagles. Keneshek dribbling up, spins in the lane, had it knocked away from him momentarily by Tyler, gets it back for Simon, and he's fouled. He'll have two free throws coming up for the Fowler Eagles. Matt, it looks like we're going to have a a low-scoring battle type game, at least early on. It looks like that's the type of teams, two teams we have. Drew Simon, the senior forward, standing 6-2, hits the first free throw for the Fowler Eagles. Brant McCollum's going to get a breather as Todd Hall checks back in for MCC. Austin Cook checks back in for the Fowler Eagles, as does Jacob Schmidt. Second free throw off the mark. Eric Van Fossen with a rebound. Here come the Crusaders. Daniel will bring it up with a minute 40 to go here. In the first quarter, MCC up 9-6. to six. Van Fossum down low for Daniel, slicing through the lane. Daniel back for Van Fossum on the left wing. Sends it back up top now for Hall. On the left side, underneath is Van Fossum. Good feed from Daniel. He's off the glass for two. That'll make it 11-6. MCC with Ian Tyler, Eric Van Fossum, and Todd Hall all, all on the court at one time. Reball from the right side for Burr is off the mark. Rebound pulled down and put back in by Jacob Schmidt for Fowler. You know, early in the season, if Kari Campbell was out like he is right now with foul trouble, it would have been devastating for MCC. But it really says a lot that this front line, the young front line, has really emerged. Good pass from Tyler down low for Hall. His shot is blocked, but he's going to be fouled, and he'll have two free throws coming up. Good job by the Crusaders, reading the trap there from Fowler and creating an easy opportunity for Hall, who will step to the line for two. I think Fowler saw that we have sort of a different lineup out there, so that this would be a time to throw a different look at the Crusaders and give these guys credit. They adjusted nicely. Hall's first free throw is strong. He'll have one more. 50.9 seconds remaining here in the first quarter of play. The Crusaders lead the Fowler Eagles 11-8 to in this district. Regional semifinal contest. Second free throw is missed by Hall. Tyler came down with it, but he rolled onto his back, which is traveling. So it'll be Eagle Ball with 50.6 seconds remaining. Sophomore Austin Cook will bring the ball up for the Fowler Eagles. John Daniel waiting for him at the three point line. He'll hand it off for Birchmeyer now on the left wing. It's Burr, back for Birchmeyer, launches a long three ball, missed it short, but chased down his own rebound. Back on the elbow, finds Simon, fake, now take to the basket, off the glass, it's good for two, it's a one point game, 11 to 10. MCC leads, we're going to hold it for one shot as there's 20 seconds left in the first quarter of play. John Daniel and Adam Callow both up top for the Crusaders. are going to get it into Daniel's hands with 10 seconds left. Off in the left corner for Van Fossum. Back for Daniel. Just missed a turnover. Back for Van Fossum. Three balls off the mark. Rebound bouncing around. Tyler throws it off. Just missed it off the glass as time expires. And that'll do it for the first quarter of play. 11-10. MCC has the lead after eight minutes of play. We'll take a one-minute break here in the regional semifinals on Country 93.1. 